hey all of you hope you guys are great so this is where we left in the last video so in the last video we have learned that how we can retrieve a single data from our local database okay in this video we're going to cover the update method or delete method okay so let's come here and let's start working on let's call it patch so here i want to talk about two things okay so when it's come to updating data there are two methods one is put and the other one is patch so when you use put what it does it update the entire data which i don't want okay so what happens sometime a user have created nft and they want to update the price they don't want to update the entire data but they do want to update the price only so in such scenario you have to use patch not put so the same structure we have to follow we have to take the app variable and this time the method we're going to call is obviously patch and we're going to update the data in the same url so we have to simply copy the same and paste here request response it's going to be an arrow functions and so what i have decided that i'm not going to build a function to update the data into our local database because it's a unnecessary long work so i'll keep this for the end when we'll connect our database and from there we'll write all the functionality to update the data in our database okay not in the local database so i'll simply send the simple response okay so what i will do here i'll take this response status is going to be 200 and we'll send this simple data okay it's going to be a success and i will say this data and here i'm going to send the simple message okay i'll say update nft updating nft okay so that's the simple response i want to send i don't want to build all the logic otherwise it will take a lot of time now let's write the if statement to validate okay so request.prom id we have to convert and we have to check that it's it is greater than the length of the nft then we want to simply send this response copy and simply paste here so this is our validator for id okay it's working fine that's looking good so that's the one we have post method simply close this one and this is the single and this is the patch method we have okay if you come here and simply copy this url and open up a new tab and here we're going to paste this and save this one and we'll call it let's say update we'll call it update nft save it and here we have the nft nft okay so let's come up here and here we try to update the data okay so let's go to raw and go to this json and here we have to provide the field name which we want to update so let's provide the i want to update the name so make sure you follow the json format so name and i want to update it to let's say something like sham okay and if i hit the request i'll get a status okay okay i'm getting all the nfts why so okay i'm getting all the nfts i'm getting the single nft nft1 okay i have to change this post method okay sorry my bad here i'm going to select this patch not get and if i hit request i'll get this response updating nft okay so this update function is also working fine this will do nothing in our local database okay we are just trying to build this one okay it's working for all those and our guard class is also working okay so that's the logic we have it, this function will do nothing in our local database okay we are just building the functionality and that's the patch one and let's build the similar functionality with the delete one okay again this delete function will not delete the data exactly from the local database but we'll try to have this functionality and this will work when we'll connect the our database so let's close this one and let's write the delete functionality okay so i'll say delete method and the same thing we have to do so what i can do i can simply call this delete copy and paste and call it delete and same check we have to do here it's going to be 404 and here we have to send the response to 404 okay that's looking fine and this time we don't want to send anything we have to simply send none because when someone will delete any document we don't need to send anything back you can send a success message but i don't want to send anything i just want to send null okay no data so that's the delete method we have now we can test this one come back here and make sure to copy and open up new and okay why we have this one tries save it and come here so first thing we have to delete this one okay this is a single one 
mm, save as and we'll say update nft here we have nft and we have to delete this one i don't know from where it came and now we have to create another one for delete simply copy that and come here and paste here and we have to select the method is a delete one okay that's the method we have now we can save it and you can see here we have null okay why it's so we don't need to send any response success but we are getting this it's a 404 okay let's come here and here we have to change this to 204 which stand for null not 404 204 so that's looking fine and here it is going to be okay so that's the change you have to do and now let's come here and let's make the request and you can see right now we are not sending anything it's completely blank null let's do this for other let's check the other five and hit the request and you can see nothing so this function is also working fine okay that looks pretty good all the method we have created successfully right now they are doing simple work with our local database but they will do a lot of things okay you guys will really appreciate that so that's all the functionality and i'm keeping all these comments i'm not removing any one of these so you guys can refer back and have a look that what we have covered okay so that's what we have here now i'm not going to delete anything so i will simply select all this and i will copy and i will comment this one okay i will bring down i will say this one is a path two. okay so you guys will get the previous code and here and here we're going to remove all those comments and all things okay so so simply remove all this existing code okay so you guys can have a look okay in what part we have covered what thing so you will find all the codes here so that looks clean let's the postman remove this console log as well and let's move this one as well remove this console log remove this one so things are looking pretty good and now we have this clean environment so that's the only thing I want to cover in this video. In the next video, we're going to refactor our code because that is very important. We have to focus on refactoring and keeping things simple and readable. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in the next video. So let's move to that.